Welcome back to our new module. Uh, this module we look into WLAN overview. Here we have five chapters. First chapter we look into WLAN overview. Then we look into basic concept of WLAN, wireless LAN fundamentals, wireless configuration implementation, and next generation uh, wireless LAN solution. So let's look into the first chapter, introduction to WLAN. The full name of WLAN is called Wireless Local Area Network. It's constructed using wireless technologies. It uses high frequency to be exact 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz signal such as radio wave, lasers, and infrared rays to replace the traditional media used for transmission on wire uh, LAN. Here you have the uh, wired LAN. You can see that all the PC uh, have a connection, wire connection to a switch. So we are using a switch over here. Whereas on the WLAN or wireless LAN, you can see that we are using a uh, access point instead of switches and we do not have any wire. You can see that they are wireless. So the benefit of wireless is we can actually move around and uh, we are not locked down into one location. WLAN technology allows users to easily access a wireless network and move around within the coverage of the network. That is the benefit of using uh, wireless LAN. So I believe this is not something new. In fact, when you are using your laptop and your mobile, we are using wireless. So let's look into the standard uh, on the wireless. The standard that we are looking into is IEEE 802.11 or WLAN and Wi-Fi. So this is the Institute, IEEE, Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineering. So the standard on the wireless is 802.11. So if you look into the standard, it started in 1997. So that was the time 802.11 uh, is started. And when we've started, it actually have a speed of merely two megabit, and the standard start with 2.4 gigahertz. Then in 1999, we have 802.11b, we have 11 megabit, the frequency band is still 2.4, and only in 2003, we have the 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz, and the standard is A and G, 802.11a and 802.11g and the standard speed here, the throughput based on the standard is 54 megabit per second. Uh, 2009, we have 802.11n. So the standard give us is 300 megabit. They can go for 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz. And from that uh, time onward, we do have an option of uh, 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz. As you can see that the standard, uh, when we move from the uh, N to AC, as you can see from here, this is the AC with one. In 2015, it's AC with two. And right now we are in present time, uh, which is the time of recording here is 2020. We are in the AX. And you can see that the throughput has increased tremendously. And they can combine both the 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz to give you this very high throughput. So that is the standard. Here I also want to remind you 802.11 and 802.3 are different. 802.3 is on wire, 802.11 uh, is actually on wireless LAN. So let's look into the Wi-Fi development trend in office scenario. So why that Wi-Fi is important? When we first started in the early 1990s, you can see that we are using mobile 1.0. And then in late uh, 1990, so we have mobile 2.0 and today we have mobile 3.0. So when we first started, we only have a very simple uh, data service. So during that time in the 1990, if we have a, a network, it's considered very advanced. Then between 1990s, uh, then we have the uh, standard, all right? In 97, we started to have the uh, standard 802.11, uh, A, B, and G. Wireless network as a supplement to wired network because the speed is still not very fast. So moving forward from 1990s until now, so we are highly dependent on uh, wireless because of the uh, tablet, okay? And we also have a lot of mobile. So the dependency of uh, wireless and the wired are uh, integrated. So they have a BYOD, bring your own device. So uh, many of the employee will use their own device and 
use wireless at the office to do uh, their office productivity. Here we have mobile phone, tablet and ultrabook. All of these are using wireless. So the standard that they are using is a N until AEC. So moving forward, uh, now on, we are at VR and the AR, which is a virtual reality and augmented reality. And we also will watch a 4K movie over wireless. So we need to have even higher throughput and more reliable wireless. So this is where all wireless office or wireless centric. So wireless become very important.